groovy. Be my victim. The old cynicism is gone. It's gone. Hello everyone, Joshua Myers here. And today I'm going to be reviewing The Craft from 1996. At St. Bernard Academy, four outsiders are about to make all their wishes come true. <laughs> The vengeance. Magic. <laughs> we can make things happen. You're a witch. Surprise. <laughs> the craft. Girls, watch out for those weirdos. We are the weirdos, mister. Rated R at Theaters Friday. The craft stars Robin Tooney. I think I'm pronouncing that name right. You know what? If if I'm mispronouncing a lot of these people's names and a lot of my movie reviews, I'm just going to put their names down in the uh, down in the description box below. So, because I seem to at a lot of times forget to put their names right up here. So, uh, so that's what I'm planning on doing. Farisa Bach. I probably butchered that name again. Nev Campbell, Rachel True, Skeet Ulrich, Helen Shaver, and it's directed by Andrew Fleming. The plot of the craft is that Sarah's always been different. So as the new girl at, at St. Benedict's Academy, she immediately falls in with the high school outsiders, but these girls won't settle for being powerless misfits. They have discovered the craft, and they're going to use it. Now, before I get into the rest of this review, I would like to say, first of all, this is actually my second time recording this. Uh, actually, I meant to record it yesterday, but like when I was in here, turned out we had this severe thunderstorm warning that became a tornado watch that actually became an actual tornado incident, which I hear is supposed to be going on for at least a few more days. Hopefully, that doesn't happen today, because if so, then I'm going to have to restart this whole thing again. Hopefully I have to get this done before if something like that happens. The other thing is, is that I have never seen the craft up until this point. Uh, this was my first viewing, and yeah, uh, I got some thoughts on it, so let's move right into it. Actually, I only have one real positive, and that is I actually do like the concept of the story. You know, like the whole plot about a group of misfit teenage girls basically using witchcraft to get revenge on those who wronged them. That is an interesting concept. I really do like that concept. But I do have some things that I do not like about the craft. And so let's get right into them. to this portion of the review, I would like to say that one of the reasons I watched the craft was mostly because a lot of people over on the Killerflix uh, Facebook page seem to really like the craft, actually. Uh, there's quite a few people on there and who, who really enjoy this movie. And also, too, like, it is a 1996 horror movie, and I'm like, because here's the thing, I was born in 96. Uh, so I was born in 1996, and I'm like, so, and I haven't really seen that much of horror movies surrounding my, uh, birthday in that, so I'm like, okay, let's, uh, see what the craft is about, because the only one I've seen prior to this was Scream from 1996, and, and I found it funny, too, that two of the actors from Scream, Neff Campbell and Skeet Orridge, are in the craft. Okay, so I... Watched it on HBO Max, at least tried to, and I really did wanted to try to like this movie. I really did, to the point where I stayed in the movie as much as I could, as much as I humanly possibly could. And honestly, I'm sorry, people. I do not like the craft. And there's a few reasons why. One, where, uh, again, and this is something that you guys should, should know, I think the plot has a lot of potential, but and it might just be me on this because like, I am not really that big of a fan of 90s horror. The only ones I seem to really enjoy are 
is Candyman, which is excellently well made and doesn't feel like a typical 90s horror movie. And also, I actually have a lot of fun with Leprechaun. It's dumb, it's cheesy, but it's a lot of fun. And I don't know, maybe I'm just not into the post screen era movies. Although, yeah, well, wait, that was before Scream, uh, was Scream's New Nightmare. Yeah, so I think I'm just not really into the post Scream movies that try to imitate Scream. The only exception really I did really enjoy was Halloween H20, because I think they had interesting characters, they had actually good plots, and the story structure was written pretty well, which here I don't think it is, because the reason I don't think the story is written that well is because you know how people give Stephen King a lot of slack? Like basically how his uh, stories are very one note. Like what I mean by that is, you know, you, you, know, you know, you get this stereotypical misfit kids or, you know, misfit adults or whatever. You get some kind of bully or school bullies or whatever. Um, you get like abusive parents and stuff like that or parents that aren't just around and make their kids anyway. And you get all that here in the craft. And I'm personally not a fan of those cliches. I'm not. And that might be fine if they make the characters any bit interesting. And honestly they do not. Like for one, uh the main character who is the main character, what? So basically, the main character of the movie is Robin Tui Sarah, and she s starts off as this kind of, you know, shy, innocent, nice girl, and all that stuff, you know, who gets teamed up with these witches and that. And I'm like, she's alright, she's very, she's a very one, she's very one note shy, nice girl. And I just wish there was a lot more to her than just one showcase in the film. And as for the other characters, like the group of witches that she hangs out with, the group of other misfits, and they're also very one note. Yeah, I don't remember a single quality of them, aside from them just being one note. And one of the weird thing is, one of them is portrayed by Deb Campbell from Scream, and I think she did way better in Scream. Uh, I didn't really thought she was that great in screen, but I think she does better, a lot better in screen than she does here. And knowing that too, she's completely unrecognizable. I even forgot who exactly Nev Campbell was in this movie. I forgot which character she portrayed. I'm seeing the screen she portrayed a character Bonnie, but I don't know who the fuck Bonnie is. Like seriously, I don't even remember her. Also, Skate Orange? Who was, uh, who was Billy Loomis in Scream? Nev Campbell's boyfriend in Scream? Completely forgettable here. I at least remember him in Scream. I don't remember him whatsoever. The most I remember him of as being one note again. Now, I thought at first they might have done something interesting with him where, you know, because he was seen to be, you know, one of the boys and stuff like that. And then he started dating, uh, uh, Sarah, actually, in the movie. And I'm like... Okay, maybe there could be some interesting things with this guy. Maybe he's not a one-note boy and that, and maybe they're going to show that he's kind of, you know, has some nice qualities to him and all that stuff and make him a really interesting character. They do not. In fact, they go in the direction of, he's just a douchebag. He's just a, you know, and just is meant to be a tool to basically get Sarah to join these band of misfit witches. And I'm like, you, you almost had an interesting character here, and you just threw that away, completely threw that away, like, because it's like these bullies have no redeemable qualities whatsoever, which is another trait of Stephen King's works, and I'm like, can you at least just show some humanity with these bullies? You know, just, you know, like, seriously, I'm just tired of that cliche in movies. Also, again, like I said, I'm just not into the post-Scream era style for this part. You know, because this movie feels like it was edited as an MTV music video. And I personally did 
did not like that. I do not like that kind of editing style and everything. It just makes the film look choppy and not really much of a film. So that was even tough to get through. Another thing that was tough to get through is the pacing. I felt like by the time I reached the 30 minute mark, which is where I stopped, this movie is only like an hour and 40 minutes or something like that, I stopped almost halfway through. And to be honest, I felt like I was already an hour and 30 minutes into the film by the 30 minute mark. That is horrible pacing. Horrible. I just don't get with this movie. I really don't. I Again, I think... Oh, and also another thing I didn't like with the craft is uh, I don't like the cinematography. Cinematography looks like those post-screen era cinematography, which... But this time around, it doesn't feel like there was any real effort put into it. Because at least I could say Scream had a bit more effort put into the cinematography than this. I don't know, maybe because it was Wes Craven, Wes Craven's actually a pretty good director. Uh, Andrew Fleming, on the other hand, I don't think he's that good of a director. Not at all. And this film clearly shows that. But honestly, for me, that's it with my negatives. And let's move on to my rating. So with that said, I'm going to give The Craft a one and a half out of five stars. I really wanted to like this movie, everybody. I really did, especially since a lot of people over on Cover Flex liked it. There's a lot of people who consider it a uh, like, modern classic, well, more so old school modern classic, you know, because it's like back in the 90s and then, like, basically consider it a 90s classic. One of the better post screen era movies. I'm sorry. It's not. It's really not that great. And I just don't get why people like it so much. Now, if you're one of those people who really love the crap, that's great. You know, more power to you. I just really couldn't get into it. This wasn't my kind of movie. Again, I think it's probably because I'm not really that into the post-screen era style movies. Especially horror movies. But I... I just think this film had wasted potential. I really do like the plot, like the concept in that, but it's poorly executed. It is really poorly executed, especially if you were to look at it. You know, from like especially from all the stuff I said, it is not that great. And knowing that too, it is rather dated. It feels like a 1996 movie. I don't see it as timeless. In fact, it feels like a mid-90s horror which again that would be a problem if the rest if the entire film was interesting besides the concept of the plot and it's not the actors are so forgettable in this the actors are playing these characters as one note characters there's a lot of cliches in here which of course a lot of films are going to have cliches in that but this feels like it could be a Stephen King movie it really does and not one of the better Stephen King movies. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised that Stephen King actually likes the craft. And again, I really try to give this movie a fair shot. I always do that with the movies I'm about to review. Give it a fair shot. I tried to with this one, and it just wasn't for me. It wasn't for me. If it was for you, that's great. You know, you're very entitled to, you know, like this movie. I personally, however, did not like it. I did not enjoy it. I found nothing to really grasp onto with this movie. And aside from the concept, which I think was completely butchered in this movie, through me, like through how they executed the film. So that's it for this review. Thank you guys for watching, and see you next time. Yeah.